last time on Indie Former. Oh. Dude, what the hell was that? Dude, follow me. Okay, so you can teleport, but why did you bring us to the other side of the pool? Why not? Because we could have just walked around. Alright son. Why are we in a park? Why not? Lawrence, take me home. Whatever you want boss. Why did you bring me to the bathroom? Why not? Lawrence, you're abusing this power. There's something I need to tell you. Hey guys, it's time to get indie formed with our top 5 Kickstarter picks of the last month. At number 5, we start with Aizel, a game of giant worlds. Blessed with the power of the gods, you are free to terraform your own procedurally generated voxel worlds. These volcanic crags and castles of ice are free for you to traverse, until the spectre of the shadows emerges. Every time you die, the shadows invasion strengthens, threatening the worlds you have created. The choice then becomes to fight against the odds, or join the shadows and gain terrific new power. We struggle with this a little bit because it's so hard to see the conflict in this choice. These worlds seem insignificant without any living creatures that you can interact and connect with. So what incentive is there to defend or betray them? Still, the polygons are amazing, and it won't be the last time we'll see some in this video. Songbringer takes the action-adventure gameplay from the 2D Zeldas then multiplies it by 300 million. It does this through procedural generation. At the start of every game you type in a 6 letter code that generates a unique world. This obviously allows for a lot of replay potential, but also lets you play the same level multiple times or play the exact same world that a friend is. Taking control of a nano sword wielding musician with a guitar slung over your back, there are heaps of secrets to uncover, bizarre items to craft and giant bosses to vanquish. And there's also pixels, which just make it that much more indie retro. Pyromaniacs rejoice! Wildfire is here and it's gonna let you burn, burn, burn. But as devastating an element as fire is, Wildfire is actually a game about stealth. Trying to stay hidden whilst holding a bright burning flame obviously doesn't seem a natural fit, yet it brings to light some new grooves to the stealth genre. When sneaking and hiding fails, you can set fire to the environment to terrify enemies. By its nature, fire is uncontainable, so once you resort to it, you'll have to quickly deal with both the good and bad it throws up. Its smoke is a means to conceal yourself, while its brightness will have you spotted in the dark. Another dynamic is burning the grass, which will stretch the reach of your damage, but also eradicate the grass as a hiding place. And all of these things are compounded by how quickly fire burns and spreads. You can unlock water manipulation that lets you douse fire, particularly useful for any flames attached to yourself. It's not Avatar, but Wildlife's a stealth game that truly wants to experiment with the elements. In a world full of creatures made of wood called woodlings, Deadwood refers to the undead wood creatures. And in Deadwood the Forgotten Curse, the Deadwood have once again risen leaving it up to the teenage woodling and his pet stone golem to save the day. They explore new areas for clues and scavenge whatever items they can to craft weapons and fortifications. When night falls the golem dozes off and it's up to the woodling to protect the helpless creature from the Deadwood. The level of cuteness in a game about zombies is a nice change of pace. 
and the developers who have worked on The Hobbit, Avatar, How to Train Your Dragon and Bioshock sure do know how to make it look pretty. A college professor on a great adventure, but it's not Indiana Jones, it's Little Devil Inside, a career made action RPG with some of the cutest animations you've ever seen. To clarify, you are on a monster hunting mission with a professor in a Victorian era world. The draw card of the game is undoubtedly all the areas we get to explore. In the sun glazed deserts, blizzardous snow, echoing labyrinths and lush forest seclusions, the minimalist art consistently evokes strong and distinct atmospheres. The action is fast and fluid, with different weapon options much in the vein of other action RPGs like Bastion, and there are also some hints at more stealth based encounters. Little Devil Inside will be a joy to explore and fight in. There it is guys, I thank you for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh, we'll see you next time here on Indieformer.